Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets. Just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York, markets have closed in the U.S. equities markets for the day and have closed in essence unchanged on the day. It seems as though aside from maybe crude oil, we have seen many of our markets which have been in such turmoil or accelerated rallies such as we've seen in the Dow really have a consolidating day, a rest day, so to speak, this being the first day of the month as well as the first day of the final quarter for 2015. Any kind of book squaring that took place took place yesterday. When we take a look at our daily chart, there's absolutely no doubt you can see this doji representing our open and close being very, very close to each other. As I said, in terms of the net change on the day, nominal net change down about 12 points on the day, a fraction of a percent. And of course, that would carry over to the S&Ps, except for the fact s and He's closing up almost a half a percent on the day, nine points higher, is trading above 1900 at 1917.75. We talked about the fact yesterday, and whether we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial or the Standard & Poor's, that it is my current take and my current belief that we are absolutely witnessing some sort of bottom activity. The technical evidence is coming in as these markets trade, but there's a couple of things that are quite apparent on a technical basis. First of all, 1860, in regards to the Dow Jones Industrial, which is roughly at that even mark, meaning 16,000, whereas we have support, I believe at this point, at 16,000 in the Dow Jones Industrial. We can also say with some certainty that we do have some real support coming into the market, roughly at 1860 on the Standard & Poor's. Now, the reason that is quite apparent is after this dramatic drop and a severe correction in the marketplace, giving up about 10% on this drop down, over the next two trading weeks, we did have these lows come in roughly at 1860, this one being a little bit below, I believe about 1850. And then from there, we saw this market trade from these lows up to the shooting star right in here in which we saw the market find some real resistance at 2000, 2002 being our 38% retracement. And of course, that's a retracement from the absolute top of the market down to this bottom. Now, this was absolutely a quite a severe drop, well over the 61% retracement point. And in fact, even trading below the 78% retracement, which is 1880, the market has over the last couple of days absolutely recouped. Now, we've also identified a pattern in this marketplace, and that pattern would really be this entire area because one of the definitions of a three river morning star is after a defined downtrend. So that's why we're including this within this pattern group. We had this very clear shooting star that signaled the top of the market after correcting so severely and then from there we did have some downside activity now we had a consolidating candle this would be on Tuesday of this week yesterday of course we had a dynamic update triple digits I believe almost 300 uh, points on the Dow Jones Industrial nice rally and gain and then also a decent rally today now this by no means can be considered a long green line or a long green candle, I should say, but we did have a marketplace that in fact traded with a higher low, a higher high, and a higher close than the previous session. So that tells us that we could in fact be looking at a potential bottom in the market and could begin to rally from this point. Now that of course is our short term view of the market. When I, we look at our longer term view, as you know, I went on record yesterday stating that I think that we will see some sort of bottom in this market by the second week of October. That doesn't mean that we are not witnessing this bottom now. Now, but in terms of time cycle, in terms of Fibonacci retracement, and in terms of Elliott wave count, we are certainly seeing the signs and setup that we would need to see in order to get extremely bullish in the standard and pours in the U.S. equities markets. Now, we do have jobs reports coming out tomorrow. We had some indication today 
from the private sector, I believe ADP, and it was about 200,000 jobs added. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. But a good report could really continue this rally that began roughly two days ago and take this market a little bit higher. Now, in terms of real resistance in the market, short-term resistance is the 61% retracement, and that retracement is roughly at 1930, above that 1966. And of course, where we're pegging very, very strong resistance right now is roughly at 2000, just above that price point. So traders, there's absolutely no doubt. I'm very excited about the results we've seen on some of the studies we've been looking at, some of the technical indicators, and the fact that we could be very shortly, if not now, looking at a potential bottom of the U.S. equities markets because once we go back into upside rally mode, there is a tremendous amount of dollars that are potentially available to be made from the long side. I certainly don't want to be a short side player in this market. And my sense is that we want to get some concrete technical confirmation that a bottom is in play and then take a stab at that market. As I said, we could be witnessing that right now with this Three River Morning Star and a confirming candle, although not that strong. But I do believe that by the second week in October, we will absolutely have flushed out the most recent lows that we have seen, and we will re-enter rally mode. Now, as far as crude oil goes, which is another market that we are following closely, we are down today, 45.05. As you can see, down ever so slightly, and that is the afternoon session. Of course, if we look at the daily session, you can see that it had a dramatic, I believe about a 1% drop in price. We'll go ahead and pull up this daily chart you, you, so you can see the absolute high that was here. Market is trading to a high of roughly 47.16, whether it's rumors about potential issues in Syria or whatnot, brought the market up, but it could not hold or sustain these moves, and in fact has closed lower and is trading lower on the day. Now, the one thing that we have really identified in this market is that we've got real support at about $44 per barrel, trading just about 75 cents above that. We also see that we have these sets of declining tops. Now, this Obviously, today's activity spiked above that, but I tend to really want to look at real bodies, meaning the relationship from where the market opened to where it closed as having the most vital information. And there's no doubt we've got a compression triangle, compression pennant, pennant more because you've got this flat bottom. And we are quickly approaching the apex. And the other thing that we're noticing can really be seen when we take a look at this from a weekly chart. And this is what I'm talking about. We'll pull up that weekly in a second. But when you have an area such as right in here, where you have that very, very tight range. And then the same thing is really happening right now. We've got this very, very tight range. When we translate that over to a weekly chart, you get a lot of dojis or congestion areas in the market. And this is what I mean. This is our weekly chart. Absolutely no doubt that after this market hit these lows, I believe at around 43 was the first set of lows and then it broke down below 40 actually to I think a low of uh, 37 and change. But the overall characteristics, the most noteworthy characteristics at the top of this market was the fact that it was consolidating for a, a long period in time. I believe it's roughly a two month period. We identified the fact that we have had five weeks now of this market consolidating in this area near these lows. And so my question is, once we had the market spike up, consolidate, we saw it return to some downside pressure actually creating a new low. My question is now that we have this market consolidating, which could continue for a couple more weeks, look at how long it took for this market to consolidate before dropping at 60, but will we see this market spike up? 
And if so, will it be a similar activity, meaning we will get a spike above, call it about $62 per barrel before running back into alignment at around 60 per barrel. There's absolutely no doubt we have a consolidating market. Market continues to tighten in terms of the range and we need to see it break one way or the other. My sense right now is we will probably see a break to the upside. I don't really see oil crude oil going above 60 i am still overall in a bearish mode and you have to be when we're looking at 45 dollar barrel of oil but at the same time i think there is some room to the upside if we get that break we should get a sizable spike in price upon the break itself from that pennant. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye-bye.